Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. And welcome to our awesome little train caboose here in Lynchburg, Virginia. We found a train caboose that has been converted into maybe one of the cutest tiny homes ever. It's so well done and we love the red color and we love how it says love on it. <laughs> <laughs> if you caught some of our previous videos, you guys know we were exploring kind of the New England area in the Northeast, but winter is coming. So we are heading west to visit our family and to hopefully avoid the coming storm that's gonna be hitting us in the next couple days. Oh gosh, I'm really scared for it, but we're gonna take a moment to pause and not think about that and just chill and relax in a train caboose. Y'all probably know we love staying in really quirky Airbnbs. We've actually stayed in a train caboose before in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. This uh, one is a little bit better. Yeah, it's that one was better. very different, very themed and very Western. But man, it is giving us just such epic inspiration, you guys. Every time we stay in a place like this, we're just like, could we do this? Should yeah. we do this? <laughs> Between this and that amazing main home with all of those windows, it's got us very much inspired to do something wild. Yeah, we'll probably be uh, doing something crazy like this in the future, <laughs> you guys. It's gonna happen. We keep threatening it, but stay tuned. It will happen eventually. But the story behind this train caboose is incredible. The place that they decided to park it is incredible. And actually the city that it's in has a pretty incredible story too. So stay tuned for all the incredibleness. <laughs> Incroyable, that's French. You still remember some French, good job. There you job. go, the one word. Whatever, let's go. <laughs> such an amazing job in here. It's a tiny space, but it still feels so open and spacious. And that's thanks to these bump out windows that are on either side. Speaking of windows, there's tons of windows all around the place. So you're just getting a lot of natural light at all times. And since they bump out, it also just makes this whole space right here, the living space, seem a lot wider. I can see why van life people do the little bump outs in the yeah. bed area. Yeah, this caboose has flares. Right, isn't that what they call them on there the van? There you go, yeah. <laughs> so you might typically think it would be kind of crappy to have a view of a train yard and a pipe factory from the living room of your Airbnb, but it's actually kind of cool because we're in a freaking train and we get to look down and watch trains all day. If only my caboose could look this good. <laughs> your caboose looks better. <laughs> Aw, thanks, darling. Starting at this end of the caboose is the bedroom. Oh. I forgot I had a clip in my head. That <laughs> stabbed me. This is maybe one of the coziest little sleeping nooks we've been in. I absolutely love how they have a good sized bed in here. Each of us has our own window. We each have an, a bedside table, which is very important. Airbnb hosts out there. Everyone needs a table on their side of the bed. This little wintry wonderland that they've created up here with the greenery and lights, it's just so charming. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's basically Pinterest. <laughs> it is. It looks like it's straight out of a winter magazine. You'd think that the factory would make noise all night, and it does, but you can hardly even hear it. Well, the wall here is this thick, I at guess... least in the bedroom. So I wonder if they did that to kind of sound deaden it a little bit. They must have, but they do give you a nice little noise machine. There's also a fan here that we turned on last night. Mm -hmm. So you got options. Oh, and earplugs. So no matter what your <laughs> flavor is, you, you can eat it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you going with that one? Don't know, I don't know. Oh my Sometimes gosh. my mouth just goes. In the middle of the caboose is the living space that you've kind of already seen with the windows on either side and bump out, so it just feels so big in here. And if you look up, you'll see that the ceiling continues from the bedroom all the way to this end of the caboose, and we are just completely in love with it. It's just all this old reclaimed wood. You can see all this discoloration from whatever paint that it had slapped on it over the years, but we will definitely be borrowing this style for whatever our next build project is. It's a little bit like Clementine's, but we didn't go with reclaimed wood with Clementine. Number one, it's too heavy, and number two, we're just not that experienced with it, you know? So we need a little bit more practice before we're comfortable building something like this. Speaking of the reclaimed wood, the floor is all, I don't know if it's original wood, but it's definitely very, very old wood that they put in here. And then they just slapped a coat of paint on it. I really love the vibe because it looks like 
you know, almost sloppy chic or something. It just fits the whole vibe of an old train car. Sloppy chic, yeah, that's sloppy awesome. Chic. <laughs> Is that a technical term? I don't know. Did I just invent the whole style? <laughs> They have a comfy little couch that actually pulls out into a bed so you can have extra guests or kiddos come along with you. And I love that when you sit here, you don't see the pipe factory or the train, you just see the river out there. I imagine in the fall or with some snow on the ground, this view, ah. Uh. Also, more of the wood theme. They have a beautiful raw wood table here. They also have this amazing wooden slab in the window and they have just cut it out Better than maybe I've ever seen somebody cut yeah, out. Yeah, this piece. isn't tucked under there. That's like cut to this perfect shape. Someone really put a lot of TLC in that. Woo. It's little details like that, you know? Yeah, I would not have had the patience, but I very no. much appreciate that whoever did it, did. They gave us little s'mores packages. Look at these. So I know what we'll be doing tonight out of yeah. that fire pit. Beyond the living room is the kitchen, which is beautiful with the white marble countertops. I love that the green is continued through here. And you might be noticing, oh, there's no cooktop or anything like that or an oven. So down here, I believe this is an oven air fryer combo and a microwave. They also have a little two burner hot plate down here. So you can actually make cool meals. And of course, a really cool vintage inspired fridge to put all of your favorite things, which right now is eggnog. Yeah, we've taken everything from the RV and stuffed it in here. <laughs> <laughs> Again, with the little touches though, they have a glass for every type of drink you could ever want to drink. They have really nice knives over here. They've got pots and pans under there, more mugs over here, a coffee maker, all these little things come together to make a really cool stay. <laughs> If you follow me to the caboose of the caboose, <laughs> the back of it, <laughs> you're gonna find the bathroom. That was an Allison joke right there. Yeah. That was better than your jokes. All right, that one actually had some substance to it. Kind of like her caboose. Dang, on a roll over here, boy. So they have this cheeky little stainless steel sink. And of course it's pretty tiny, but I'm pretty sure this is the original sink from the original train car. So that makes it super cool no matter how tiny it is. It's timeless, it's cool. Yeah. This whole thing is proper metal. Very, very watertight and waterproof. <laughs> On this rear wall, it actually has this uh, concrete plaster type of stuff, which we really like, you know? It's not real concrete, obviously, but it gives that kind of vibe. I really love the round windows that they have at the front and the back of the caboose. I'm assuming those are original. So you're in the back of a tiny train car, but the shower is surprisingly huge. Check this out. <laughs> and they have an on-demand water heater over there that works like a freaking charm. So it is a very, very luxurious and enjoyable shower. <laughs> what else do I say? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. There's so many cool touches in here. I just realized these little hooks are actually kind of like railroad spikes. Yeah, are they real? I don't know. I mean, even if they're not, it looks cool. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about this. Does this door open? Oh, it does open. Check this out. Woohoo! Whoa! Oh man. They need like a train, a conductor's bell or something. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Woo, woo! All aboard the Beeler Express. Last call. So we really want to give you guys a look around the outside of this thing. They have done an absolutely incredible job as you've seen from some of the footage so far. Um, but first we wanted to tell you a little bit about how the heck this crazy project even came into existence. So there was a house here, but it got demolished. And so the owners of this were going to put an A-frame, but due to the pandemic, prices rose too much they couldn't afford all the materials. So then they started looking for different options, found this on Facebook Marketplace, yeah. I believe. <laughs> so they decided to be crazy and go get it and turn it into a tiny home. It was a big ordeal to set up the whole process of driving it through the city and parking it here, but they ended up making it work and they lifted it in and set it down via a crane. That is some hardcore dedication. But it's so cool when projects like this come to fruition, you know, because now everyone gets to come here and enjoy it and have an awesome experience. We're having a blast, you guys. This is tons of fun. This is one of those Airbnbs that while the city is awesome and we definitely want to go explore it, it's going to be really hard to leave here because yeah. they just have everything. It's so comfortable. Y'all, this is the real deal. This is a full on train caboose. As you can see, full metal. It's so sturdy. It still has like so many of the original components. And we love that they painted it just the traditional, I, I feel like train caboose red. 
and they put the yellow on here, which makes everything pop. They've had it painted so well, it's like pristinely restored on the outside. Yeah, even all the underside components, like this is just a really nice solid black paint job that just gives you this really good contrast. Yo, uh, they have done such awesome work under here. <laughs> it really is pristine. So you can still see a lot of the original components of the train. They've left most of it intact. They just covered it with this really nice coating of matte black paint. From under here, you can see all the really nice electrical work that they've done, some of the plumbing work they've done. It is all pretty top notch. They even have a cheeky little AC unit over there that's more or less hidden from sight. And I was wondering how they went about uh, insulating the thing but from under here, it looks like they just put a layer of spray foam insulation on it. You guys, I'm really loving just like studying all the different pieces of this thing, how everything connects together. Is it weird being under a train caboose? <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm just thinking about this wheel crushing this hand and how bad that would be. Although when you're a little kid, you always wonder if you could survive a train going over you. Uh, it gets pretty dang close. You'd have to be real slim. I don't know about that. And they also put this thing on real railroad tracks. So they must've just built this whole thing, put the railroad ties in, the rails, the spikes, everything, and then plopped it right down on it. What did they do? Just like pull the brake and that's how it sits here? <laughs> I don't know. And I thought doing an RV renovation was hard, but this is a whole other level, dude. such a great job creating such a cool outdoor space. They've got a huge deck coming off the front. They have so many seating areas, including one around a fire pit. They have a hammock. They have the swing. I was gonna say porch swing, but it's a yard swing, I guess. But it's cool, because you just get to overlook this awesome view. It is really nice. And even though there is a, sorry, okay. <laughs> even though there's a lot of noise from down there, it's pretty constant and almost just kind of like a hum. So it's not that annoying or anything like that. Yeah, and so many trains have just been coming and going. It's been pretty neat. Well, the backside of the caboose is done up in the original style. The front has this amazing love mural on it. And I guess there's actually a love sculpture in the town that this is modeled after. And so sometimes people come by to get photos because I guess there's a bit of like a love trail that you can follow. And that actually happened to us this morning. We were just getting all ready and we saw a couple gals out the window taking photos. <laughs> Hopefully they couldn't see us in there because I don't know how we were dressed or what we were looking like. It'll just be a photo of me taking a video of them. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. There's still three more. <laughs> Whose idea was it to run? Get after it. Come on, burn some calories. You, you, Rocky. <laughs> it's the I am the tiger. The uh, caboose is within walking distance of the downtown Lynchburg area. How cool is that? <laughs> so this town is named after its founder, John Lynch. And he's got a really interesting story. When he was 17 years old in the 1750s, he actually ran a uh, ferry boat that took people across the river over there, the river that our caboose overlooks. And then in the early 1800s, he actually built the first bridge that went across it. But what's really interesting is in 1786, the Virginia General Assembly granted him a charter for a town that was actually comprised of his own 40 acres. He basically turned his land into a town named after himself. Which is now our life goal, right? Yeah, Beelerberg. Beelerberg, That's a right. certain understated charm. <laughs> There's actually a dam that goes across that river right now, and you can see it from the caboose. And from way up on the hill, you wouldn't know that the dam's actually 20 feet tall. It looks so small from way up here. I'll have to remember to get some damn B-roll for that shot. Get it? Yeah. You're just going at it today, dude. <laughs> Insert rim shot sound effect now. chance should we hop on yeah go find a better life in a new place <laughs> see ya oh i go alone okay <laughs> y'all we found a crazy old antique store it's not even antiques it's just like old sturdy wooden pieces everywhere we might live here from yeah. now on this is so neat yeah we're gonna be building something pretty soon i don't know what it is but we're gonna keep threatening until it happens <laughs> I just wanna buy up little bits of everything on the road, just so one day when we renovate something else or build something, we have all these like pieces to start with. Oh, 
hello. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. We got Uber Eats delivered to us. <laughs> Does life get better? We're staying in a cool train caboose. We got Ty delivered to us. If you could see the other side of this camera, you'd see that Eric didn't have any pants on. <laughs> it's the best night ever, you You guys don't want to see that. Or do you? Mm. Mm, on our other channel that we're starting in the new year. Did the guy find the caboose all right? He did. He While he was kind of wandering outside, he was like, this is weird. I was like, I know it is weird, but it's cool, right? <laughs> this is a nice little touch, y'all. The TV pops right out so you can put it in the bedroom or point it to the living room. Don't pan that camera down, whatever you do, because <laughs> I am not wearing pants. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> oh, it's done. That's TMI. Are you gonna miss our little caboose? I will, it was so cute. And y'all, the bed in there is so comfy, I'm gonna miss sleeping on it. I love our bed, but sometimes it's just nice to be on, in somebody else's sheets that you don't have to wash. There is this big winter storm coming in, and we had these plans to go and do more in Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, but we're gonna scrap those and just make a beeline back to Missouri in order to hopefully miss all the freezing rain, snow, icy roads, I don't know. Plus for us, Christmas hasn't come yet, so we're, we're trying to get back to see family. Yeah, so you guys probably already know how bad or how it got or how bad it didn't get. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna head back to Missouri for Christmas and do a little chilling and relaxing for once. Is that it? I guess that's it. All right. Is that it? Okay, goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs> <laughs>